Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 91 of Building Iron Man. Uh, in this issue, we're going to be deal building a bit more of the, the uh, waist and the hip. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's have a look at the history of Iron Man a bit more. Uh, more Avengers, trip to Mars. Um, yep, yeah. Vision, Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Thor, and all of them. Iron Man, Sentinel, Liberty. I don't know who that is. Uh, during the almost 60 years of the Avengers history, the pictures of the group's lineup not included Captain America or Iron Man. Um, when, yeah, they've not included Captain America or Iron Man. Most of the time, they're in there, which makes sense. They're, they're the big names, aren't they? Uh, so, yes, the abdomen. Part two, we're building the hip connection button. Um, fitting that to the, the lower back plate. That's all we're going to be doing today, fitting two screws and two springs into two plastic bits. It's fine. It's soon we'll be assembling it to the, the thing and making it all fit together, but not today. Soon, but not yet. Uh, Metal Heroes, uh, greater protection than ever. Uh, Iron Man and his infinite wardrobe. I thought about infinite. Uh, I'm sorry, like not the only characters who wear suits of armor. Captain America armor. I'm not sure about that. Spider Man armor. Yeah, I don't like that. But that's, that's quite cool. That's. Um, Thunderbolts, I don't know who that is, but quite cool armor. Like the Guardian Alpha Flight. Yeah, I'll go with that. It's quite nice. Uh, War Machine Model 4. Obviously, War Machine gets not quite as many variations as Iron Man does, but he gets some. Uh, so that's that. Obviously, we're looking at Avengers Volume 5, number one, uh, from February 2013. Avengers World. Uh, next issue, guess what? Build the abdomen, part three. And looking at original scene, a journey to the past. Let me clear the bench. We'll get this part put together. It will take no time at all, unless something goes hideously wrong, which is always possible. So here we have it, uh, all plastic, apart from the springs and obviously the screws, uh, two of which we shall be using. So let's get two of those out immediately. And a screwdriver. Uh, this is the back plate. The button obviously will fit in there a bit like that, so that can be pushed to release the hip piece. The springs fit onto two posts there to give it spring, and they fit onto there on the other side as well. If I get that the right way around, line it up so they do in fact fit. Uh, then it just needs the screws to go in. To hold it together, so let's get one of those in a bit and then get the other one in a bit as well. And that is that, that was a very, very quick and painless part of the build. Tighten these down, make sure they are secure, and then we can just test out the button, make sure it does push. Hinges that way, is that right, do you think? Feels like something's going to happen. So it's more not so much a springy spring as a hinging spring. We'll be unclipping parts from the hip. So that is that. Uh, that's this build complete. I shall see you very shortly for the next part when we're going to be, obviously, I would assume, adding more to this and possibly adding that to the body itself. I know that's coming up soon. I'm looking forward to it. So I shall see you soon for that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.